So you find yourself asking who's Kin and why is she so dangerous? Well, it's not that dangerous. It's really a nice, friendly place full of dirt and sand and more sand and... Oh, don't forget the lovely swamp. Okay, maybe I lied just a little bit. Welcome to the one and only Masochism Simulator game, also known as Kenji. In simplest terms, Kenji is an open-ended sandbox RTS slash RPG hybrid. While you can choose to do pretty much anything or be whatever you want to be in Kenji, most of your time spent in the beginning will be struggling to stave off hunger and survive, or struggling to maintain your freedom. The thing that makes Kenshi so awesome to play is how brutal and unforgiving it is. You aren't some special hero that's magically better than everyone else. There's no level scaling and there's absolutely no limits. You come across a large group of cannibals. <laughs> Guess what, buddy? You're going to get eaten alive. You decided at the start of the game that you wanted to play as a non-human race. Well, you better hope that the Holy Nation, also known as the group of really racist zealot assholes, don't find you. Because if they do, they'll beat the shit out of you and make you their slave. By default, the game has a squad limit of up to 20 members, but you can have up to 10 squads, so you don't have to take the game with your character alone. You can do a lot of things with greater numbers, such as crafting a fortress or base, attacking towns, or just traveling around in a bigger horde for protection. Oh, but all your people don't have enough food or funds to buy food for them yet, so they're weak and starving, so it's more like having your base raided constantly and still getting killed, but by an even bigger, stronger horde of enemies. <laughs> doesn't that sound exciting? It doesn't? Well, what if I told you that the real thing that makes Kenshi great is the fact that if you put in the hard work and hours, you yourself can be the top dog. The Holy Nation comes to visit your settlement for prayer day and find out you're not one of the cool races? Instead of hunting you down and making you a slave, you can hunt them down and make them your slaves instead. Want a break from the ads? Want a break from the ads? They were right to fear me. Overall, while I do think that Kenshi can be really brutal at times, there's a lot of fun to be had here and if you find something about the game that you don't like, you can just mod it out since there are over 11,000 mods just on the Steam Workshop page. Or you can just save some of everything you do until you get the best result. <coughs> 370 hours reloading and 3 hours of actual gameplay? Come on man, don't be like this guy. Or do, I mean, who am I to judge?